let's say you want to add keyboard input to your game how would we do that it's really simple first of all you have to go into your project project settings then go into your input map and then here we want to add a new action and we just want to give it a name so let's just give it the name change underscore color then I'll just press enter so here we've added an action but here we need to add now the input that would it take so here we could just press this plus here and then we could just it's gonna listen for an input so any key that you press it will just basically say listen for input so here if I press E here it said it said E if I press R anything like that so I could just do space and then if I press OK here if we just say to get the input change color here it will check if we press for space and if we press for space then whatever we write in our script is gonna happen so I'm gonna show you guys a quick example if we play our game here you will see that this color rect here is just changing colors really fast and that is just because I'm giving it uh, it just changes colors randomly every frame so here we want to check if we press space then it changes color so what we can do here we can type in if input dot is action just pressed then here we made a new uh here we made a new action just called change color then here if you press change color which in our case we made it equal space then it will just uh, give us a random color so if you press uh, and play a game here you will see that it's just white and if i press space it changed change 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 then yep uh, then here what you can do is go into your project project settings and let's say you don't want it to space or anything else uh, You can change it and something really cool is that there's already built-in functions for you in Godot So you can just turn this on and you can see all of these uh, right here So here you can see for example something that uh, I use a lot is UI left you are right then here if you can just do filter by name UI or yeah, you could just find that uh, somewhere here. Yep. Yeah, UI up UI down UI right UI left here it's basically just the same thing and it works very well and it this is just something really simple and you could just use it here into your uh, player controller but yeah if you guys like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button I'll see you guys in the next one